Hi, I'm Daryl Smith, and I'm outside today, and this is the Smith's Gourmet Home Cooking Photo Album, featuring some of my favorite home recipes. Today's dish is a seafood frittata with sautéed French green beans. Ingredients for this seafood frittata are 1 pound lobster tail meat, 1 pound peeled and deveined shrimp, 1 pound scallops, 1 half pound crab meat, 8 eggs, 1 cup bell pepper, 2 celery stalks, 1 cup sweet onions, 1 cup mushrooms, I'm using shiitake and oysters, 1 half cup each, mild cheddar and parmesan cheeses, Cajun spice, 1 half cup brandy, and salt and pepper to taste. I start preparing the seafood by cutting the scallops into quarters. If using base scallops, no need to chop these. Next, I cut the shrimp into half inch pieces. Then the lobster tail is split. And the meat is cut into half inch pieces. I prep the vegetables by first dicing the celery into small cubes. Then I dice one half of the bell pepper into small cubes, same size as the celery. and one half of a large onion is cubed as well. Start the frittata over medium heat with olive oil to coat a non-stick pan. Then add the onion, celery, and bell pepper, seasoning with salt and pepper. After a minute or so, add the mushrooms and saute until tender, about five to six minutes. Then move the vegetables to the side of the pan and add the crab meat, lobster, shrimp, and scallops. And season all with Cajun seasoning. Saute this mixture for about five to six minutes and mix the seafood into the vegetables. Remove the pan from the flame and add the brandy and ignite to burn off the alcohol. Allow to simmer for another five to six minutes. Whisk the eight eggs and season with salt and pepper. Then add to the seafood mixture. Move the eggs to fill in to the bottom of the pan and simmer for another five minutes until the eggs begin to set. Then top with mild cheddar and grated Parmesan cheeses. Then I place it in a medium high heat grill for 15 to 20 minutes until the frittata is firmly set. Top with chopped parsley and set aside to cool. The sautéed French green beans are made with one pound French beans, which are smaller than most green beans. One tablespoon chopped shallots, one tablespoon minced garlic, one teaspoon red pepper flakes for heat, and salt and pepper to taste. It's important to blanch the green beans first in salted boiling water. This removes the raw vegetable taste, but only blanch for a couple of minutes to retain the crunchy texture. Then shock the beans in an ice bath to stop the cooking and retain the bright green color. Start to saute with olive oil over medium heat and add the shallots, garlic, and red pepper flakes for a few seconds. Then add the green beans and saute for a couple of minutes. Season with salt and pepper. I'm also making a creamy cheese sauce using three tablespoons flour, three tablespoons butter, one cup milk, one cup shredded Velveeta cheese, one half cup grated Parmesan cheese, some fresh grated nutmeg, and salt to taste. Add the butter to a medium heat saute pan and then the flour and whisk to incorporate and cook out the flour taste. Then add the milk and nutmeg and bring back to heat for a thin consistency. Yeah. 
add the Velveeta cheese and grated Parmesan cheese and whisk for a creamy sauce. Season with salt to taste. Start the plating by cutting a wedge of the frittata and adding to the center of the plate. Then add some of the French green beans and garnish with chopped parsley and Cajun spice. Grate a little extra Parmesan cheese and drizzle the frittata with the creamy cheese sauce. This dish is a low carbohydrate winner and is great for brunch, lunch, or dinner.